Hey there, people of God. God bless you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here, one of your favorite prophetic voices. I'm so glad that you're joining us. Listen, in a few minutes, we're going to have the great man of God, incredible friend of ours, Prophet Leon De Priya, all the way from South Africa. He's going to be joining us. So I want you to begin to share this on your wall, people of God. Because let me tell you, God is going to do something so powerful and something so profound in this season and in this moment. So I want you to give us some hearts and likes and do share this on your wall. Do share, share, share. My goodness. Is it when I get to the command of God, Prophet Leon, that free, Priya, it's going to be so powerful. Amen. And God is going to move. And in this convergence, in this synergy, let me tell you, the Holy Spirit is uniting and knitting the right anointings and giftings together for this end times move. Unfortunately, the enemy, uh, the demonic kingdom, they understand how to unite and how to gather. Many times even better than most Christians do. But let me tell you, that day is changing. And the Holy Ghost is gathering forth and bringing together the eagles and the lions for such a time as this. The apostles and the prophets for this end times move. Can I get an amen? So give me some hearts and likes, people of God. And I want you to just begin to share we're going to have the prophet on in a few minutes, but I want the numbers and the viewers to go up in this place. My goodness, we have so much to talk about and so much to share and so much to release to you. Amen. And let me tell you, uh, at the end of our discussion and broadcast, myself and Prophet Leon, we are also going to minister to a number of you personally, specifically, as the Lord leads and as the Lord highlights. Amen. So let me know where you are watching from. Praise God. Let me know where you are watching from. Just comment below where you are watching from so I can say hello to you and give you a shout out. Amen. Hello there, Cheryl. God bless you. We we miss you. Hope, hope to talk to you soon right after this, actually. Child of Most High, God bless you. Miriam, God bless you. Jennifer Ney, hello there. Good evening, Dr. Lemon, Prophet Leon. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. This is a season where God is connecting. Let me tell you, uh, we we are just about two months away from Rosh Hashanah, okay? Actually, we're just about one month away. Excuse me. We're about one month away from the new Hebrew year. And of course, two in Hebrew means unity and separation. So still God is uniting. Still God is separating. Still God is bringing together. Can I get an amen? And let me tell you, uh, there's some things that myself and Prophet Leon, we've been talking about discussing, and it's going to be powerful when we release it and reveal it to the world. Amen. Hello there, Cheryl. God bless you. Naomi, Tim Kenner, Trevor. And I'm just seeing from my page here, uh, I'm sure many people are also commenting on Prophet Leon's page from Pretoria. God bless you. Hallelujah. Shemitah Dabi from Mauritius. And uh, all the way from South Africa, God bless you, Michelle Bloem. Yes. Encounter Church, <laughs> Marnell representing, amen. Felipe says, looking forward to this. Praise God. This is people like, I want you to just begin to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. My goodness. Um, we, we need to get the atmosphere ready. We need to get everything right. And I know uh, we're also working on the crossbows right now on Prophet Leon's page. But let me tell you, before we bring the man of God, we have to get everything right. Amen. Because when the man of God comes, boom, it's going to be hot. It's going to be ready. And there's going to be such a powerful prophetic release in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Annie May says, good afternoon, Prophet Ben and Leon from Virginia. God bless you. Hello there, CC. God bless you. Billy Dyson, God bless you. Miss you, man. Hallelujah. Well, people of God, I'm so glad you're here. Continue to tag somebody and share this on your wall. And if you're hungry for what God is about to do, if you're ready for what God's about to release today in this prophetic convergence broadcast, I want you to just hashtag prophetic. Hashtag prophetic. Comment that right there. Hashtag prophetic. My goodness. The Lord is on the move. The Spirit of God is moving. And there is a word for you. There's an impartation for you. And there's something so powerful and supernatural the Lord's going to release through myself and our good friend, Prophet Leon, Leon de Prua. 
I hope I'm saying your name right, my friend. Leon de de Pru, de, de, de Pru. <laughs> I'm getting drunk in the Lord already, Jesus. <laughs> Mr. Lawrence, do we get the crossbows ready? Is everything set before I bring on the prophet here? Perfect, perfect. Well, people of God, before I bring on the prophet, I just want to uh, just make note of my next upcoming webinars, okay? Uh, actually, tomorrow I have a Facebook Live broadcast with Dr. Robert Lairdin, the author of God's General. Uh, we've been so blessed and honored uh, that he's been getting connected with us, becoming friends, and really family with our ministry. So we're so grateful. So tomorrow I'm doing a Facebook Live broadcast called Supernatural Prosperity. We need to understand how to move in realms of prosperity. What is biblical prosperity? There is a biblical prosperity. So I want uh, to invite you tomorrow to our Facebook Live broadcast with Dr. Robert Lairdin as this general of the Lord's army and myself. We're going to talk about prosperity and the things of God. Amen. So that's going to be tomorrow. So make sure you get ready for that. And uh, actually, I just want to just go straight into it. Amen. So everybody, uh, I want you to just give us some hearts and likes as we welcome a man of God, Prophet Leon de Prua, uh, all the way from South Africa. Man of God, God bless you, my friend. Oh, you're on mute, my friend. There we go. Sorry, Skype is new to me here. Um, and they say that we are live on my page now too. Okay, so that's awesome. So my guys are going to push it right now. I see the numbers already jumping up to 500. Uh, listen, thank you so much, Dr. Ben, for uh, having me on. And, uh, you know, to have uh, to be ministering to both uh, me and you, to be ministering to your viewers, to my viewers. It's going to be an amazing time. It's going to be excellent. Uh, God is doing a lot of things. God is doing amazing things. There are signs that are happening. There are undoubtedly signs that um, we cannot ignore that God is doing. Now, if I look, just look a little bit unprofessional today, it's just because I'm in another city. Um, so I had to set up my makeshift studio here uh, where I'm at and... Um, uh, so, so just please do excuse that. But I see so many people on here. I see people saying prophetic, prophetic. Thank you to all our people that has jumped on. Um, I see guys, I see we're already almost 700 people. So, uh, and obviously let us know quickly how many people are watching with you. Let us know how many people are watching with you. Like, write us a two, a three, a four. You know what? Because sometimes Dr. Ben, we see a number like this, but it's families watching and, you know, you can take that number and multiply it by two or three. And, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's usually a lot of people that are watching. But listen, the word of the Lord is going to come through tonight. The word of the Lord is going to come through uh, in, a, in, in the multiplicity and the diversity of uh, gifts uh, of, of myself, Dr. Ben. And, um, you know, it is... Uh, um, it is going to be amazing and God is going to speak and God is going to give words. And, and at the end, as he said, we're going to be prophesying. We're going to do op open, we'll even open up for questions and answers for those of you that have any questions and answers, because we're going to touch on some sensitive topics tonight and, uh, it is going to be amazing. So, uh, yes, back to you, back to you, Dr. Ben. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. It's a privilege. I honor you as my friend, uh, a fellow prophet friend in the, uh, United States. And um, it is crucial that we stay together united. You know, where the, where the brethren dwells in unity, there is a commanded blessing from the Lord. Not just a blessing, a commanded blessing. And the oil shall flow from the head to the beard of Sharon, to the shoulders, to the garments. And, and uh, I believe that's how revival is going to be poured out. And God has all strategy on what he's busy doing in that regard. See, we have almost 800 people on. It is going to be amazing. Awesome. Yes, Dr. Ben. My, my goodness, my friend, I think, honestly, uh, how you and I connected, it was a real divine appointment. Of course, I was in South Africa uh, this year in February, and I love South Africa. I've been there three, four times at least. And, uh, you know, I, I really believe there's a covenant that I'm carrying even with the nation of South Africa. But even when I connected with you, Prophet, it was a divine appointment. You and I were wearing the same shoes, right? We're yes. Same. <laughs> there was a divine, there was a synergy. And you know, when you connect with a man, or woman of God, you know that there's a divine purpose. And here yes. today, and we're seeing increase 
and there truly is a convergence. And even as you and I, we've been talking, uh, you know, almost weekly now for the last few months, but even as we've been conversing and connecting, something exciting is about to come forth in terms of prophetic convergence. So yes, if you're yes. excited, I want you to give us some hearts and likes because the Lord is connecting, converging, bringing together different young emerging ministers for the greater glory of the world. Yeah, they are from all over the world. So people of God, I believe right now, help us to break the 1,000 viewership. I believe tonight we're going to break the 1,000. Yes. So if you're believing with us, say amen, and just continue to share and continue to tag somebody. And, and so I want to ask you guys, uh, sorry, Dr. Ben, that I'm falling in, but tag, tag, guys, tag for us your men of God. Tag for us your, tag for us any young prophets you know, any young apostles, any young prophets you know, young ministers you know, tag them so they can hear what the word of the Lord is for them because this involves them what is going to be happening tonight. Amen. Praise God. I want everybody, I feel the presence of God. I want everyone just to lift up your hands real quick. Lord, we thank you for the fire and the power and the presence of the Lord. That even as you are bringing a convergence today, that the clear crystal word of God is going to be released. And thank you for the connection between America and South Africa and what you're doing in the spiritual realm, Father. I thank you. Shaka rabatara brata in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. I feel the power of God. Prophet, um, anything, anything just that's bubbling up out of your spirit right now before we just officially start? Because I, I just feel the fire of God so strong. Yeah, I feel that that um that uh you know we are in a season and a time, the epochs of God that no man can change, no man can shift. This is not something that comes in by fasting, by prayer. It is something that is ordained and set in by heaven itself. It is an appointed time. The deaths we have seen, the um, the strange happenings that has occurred, the strange signs in the skies, the strange wars that has been taking place, all of these things are the epochs of God. Nothing, you know, a lot of Christians say, let's fast, let's pray for this. Listen, nothing is going to change it. The only thing that it is pointing towards is one of the greatest revivals, outpourings, and a move of God that we're about to see. So we can get excited. You know, people tell me, I get I get so upset, you know, I get so much persecution. I once made a statement. Uh, I was asked, will a Christian government in South Africa change this nation? And, and I said, no, it will not. And the Christian government got so upset with me from Parliament. Oh, my goodness. They got upset. The video was sent to them. And obviously, I've got a following. And I said, listen, guys, I said, when Nero was in power he uh when nero was in power the church exploded but they were persecuted but when constantine came power he, he accepted the church and he made the church welcome he built buildings for them he, he he got them out underground and the power of god left the church and the church plunged into the dark ages you see the moment christianity is accepted is the moment its death is started so the more persecution there is the greater it is for the church we need to understand that stop praying for a i'm, I'm very i'm very serious we must stop praying for a godly government in a sense of that the whole government will be godly and then that will save the nation listen our faith is not in a godly government our faith is in the lord jesus christ you know both for america that is in a crucial tipping point and south africa that is in a crucial tipping point and uh we need to understand these principles that a godly government can destroy christianity as it is we need persecution the church needs persecution persecution is the very feeding ground that the church feeds off to grow and to explode you know bring more persecution and you'll see the church uh, lock down the church again you'll see the church just grow bigger and bigger and bigger look at america america with all due respect dr ben america was lazy in the spirit before lockdown now revival is happening all over there's young people on the streets we know some of them they're casting out devils they're healing the sick they're doing you're doing revival tours all over them and and people are just going out and doing things why because they were shaken there was some persecution that took place so never ever put down persecution my goodness man of god you preaching already and there is another level and wave of persecution that's about to come and we yes. understand right now that that there's going to be a lot of shaking in fact i know you and i were just talking a little bit before the broadcast uh, but, you know, there are going to be wars that are coming. Jesus said in Matthew 24 that there's going to be wars and rumors. Of so we're going to talk about this in a little bit. But, you know, Prophet, uh, you and I, we were, uh, I had difficulty sleeping last night. 
uh, for whatever reason, uh, you know, I slept for about two hours and I woke up and you and I, we started messaging each other. We were just going back and forth. And then afterwards, the angel of the Lord met me. There were actually two different angels that met me as I was trying to sleep on my bed. And the Lord began to download different words. So people of God, let me tell you, in a few minutes, myself and Prophet Leon, we're going to be releasing some major extreme insights, some prophetic insights of the days to come. And let me tell you, we need to hear the word of the Lord. We need to hear the good report. We need to hear what the prophets are saying. Because as the word of God says, believe in his prophets and you will prosper. But there is another wave of persecution, uh, another shaking that's coming. We're going to talk yes. very soon. But if you're hungry to receive today, I want you to just comment amen and amen and just give us some hearts here. My goodness, you know, first and foremost, we understand, Prophet, that there's such a big passing right now. There's a big passing of the baton. And in fact, today, we're supposed to have our good friend, Prophet Charlie Shamp. He's a good friend of mine. I love the whole Shamp family. But right now, pretty much, is the memorial service of our good friend, Prophet Jeff Jansen. Okay? Now, if you knew or know who Jeff Jansen was, let me tell you, he was a general in the army of God. He catapulted. He led a glory movement. He led the prophetic and the charismatic movement. And just even watching his life from a distance a number of years ago, his ministry and his life has really encouraged me. And I mean, who's been encouraged and, and ministered to by the ministry of Prophet Jeff Jansen? And today, we were supposed to have Prophet Charlie Shamp but Prophet Charlie uh, asked if he could be excused because he's at the memorial service of Prophet Jeff Jansen. And so it's it's myself and Prophet Leon. And again, God is converging. Everyone say converging. God is bringing together. But, you know, it, it's not a coincidence, Prophet Leon, because I met you earlier this yes. year. And even when I met you this year, Prophet, you also connected with Prophet Jeff. And, and here we are, you know, we're talking, uh, you know, you and I were connecting, you're talking with Prophet Jeff, I'm also talking with Prophet Jeff, and all of a sudden, bam, just a week and a half, two weeks ago, now he passes, he dies. And this is an attack of the enemy. And let me tell you, I'm mad. I am not happy. I'm not happy as a friend of the gospel, as a friend of Jeff, as a fellow minister of the gospel. I'm not happy of how Prophet Jeff passed. And I believe he was too young, it was too early. And I believe it was an attack of the enemy. And I believe that this is a sign. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah that when the righteous are taken up, that it is a sign. But I'm not happy about this prophet. And, uh, you know, I don't know uh, what comes to your mind. And again, what is happening? Let me tell you what is happening. This is what is happening in um, Luke 11, Luke 11, verse 49. It says this. It says, therefore, the wisdom of God, this is the wisdom of God, also said, I will send them prophets and apostles and some of them they will kill and persecute that the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation. So the wisdom of God is to send prophets into a generation to be persecuted and to be killed. And once they are killed and persecuted, and we know Jeff was persecuted like, like no one's business. So when they are persecuted and killed, and there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, peculiarities around his death that we're just not going to get around to right now. There's a lot of speculating, speculating. There's a lot of, the, it's, it was a, it was what we call a, a freak accident, but it can be speculated towards something else as well, towards an, inc uh, towards an incitement, towards uh, where, um, you know, especially with posts that he was posting and we see, and for what he was standing. So prophets, they would be persecuted and killed. But this is the wisdom of God, because God knows that the moment they kill or persecute that prophet, then he's going to take the blood of all the prophets from Abel up until now, and he will hold it against this generation. He will hold it against this generation. And I see we just beat 1,000 views, but uh, 
th- that's God's wisdom. And it's, you know, I was laughing at the ch- at our church yesterday. I said, you know what? Or to, I think I was on Isaiah Saldivar's post- podcast and I was laughing. I said, you know, it's God's wisdom to send me into a generation so that I may be killed. I mean, isn't it amazing? That's God's wisdom. I'm going to ask him, what were you thinking when I get to heaven? What were you thinking that this is your wisdom to get me killed? You know, <laughs> and uh, but but I, I, I'm not saying that's what happened with Jeff. I'm just giving a scriptural point of view, a different perspective of what is happening, that um, we should look at this, that there will be vengeance that God is for every general that is going, that Satan is taking vengeance and the bottle of vengeance that is of blood that is being built up of the saints, the bowels of the blood of the saints is being built up, the uh, uh, the vials of the blood of the saints is being built up, the bowls in heaven, and it will be poured out as judgment upon the nation very, very soon. And when that happens at the same time there will be a revival that is coming because we know that even though prophet jeff is gone his mantle is left behind you know what was amazing was he was i was i think i was the lost pulpit he was ministering on and he said these words he said that um that bob uh, bob jones gave him an instruction that the mantle uh, bob jones received a mantle from a black man from south africa which we truly believe was uh, somewhere along the line of benson idahoza and when he uh, i don't know if you don't know benson idahoza you better study him if you if you guys on stream you don't know benson idahoza you better study him benson idahoza started and led the pentecostal charismatic move of christianity in africa his first miracle was raised he raised the dead like drinking coca-cola and uh, you know uh, kings and presidents feared him he would walk into their office and he would remove them from their office by one sentence he would place another king or place another president in by another sentence this is a man who walked in incredible authority and then jeff jansen said uh, that bob jones that uh, that bob jones said to him uh, that a mantle was given to him a physical mantle was given to him of this uh, black prophet that was in South Africa that passed on and uh, then we see how uh, how um, and then then Jeff said that Bob Jones said but Jeff I'm giving a part of this mantle to you and your assignment will be to take this back to South Africa and release it back to South Africa and the moment he was on our pulpit he released back that mantle he said I do what Bob has told me to do and I release this prophetic mantle that was once came from South Africa to America is going back to the nation of South Africa and I believe and then without knowing it about I mean I knew about that when he was when he was doing it but not without thinking about it about a week or two I did a live stream video and I began to prophesy and I said that the mantle the spirit and the power of Eli- of, of, of not Elijah the spirit and the power of Benson Idahoza wow. is going to be poured out on the nation of South Africa once again the spirit and the power of Idahoza Benson Idahoza Idahoza. The mantle of Benson Idahoza is going to be poured out upon young people, upon young prophets, upon young apostles in the nation of South Africa. They'll speak with such authority. They'll be afraid of nothing. They'll speak death and death will happen. They'll speak life and life will happen. They'll suffer a witch not to live. They will speak with authority. They will walk and trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. They'll remove kings and place kings remove presidents and place presidents and this mantle and authority and anointing is coming back i believe my goodness it absolutely is prophet because as different generals are going home uh, of course we know benny johnson who's the wife of bill johnson just passed joy Dalton, who is the co-founder of ywam youth with a mission also passed and uh, you know so we're seeing generals we're seeing prophets we're seeing intercessors go home to be with the lord and the bible says that this is a sign And the righteous, we must perceive it. And with this sign, as you're going home to be with the Lord, there's going to be a release and there's going to be an exponential increase of the power of that grace. So I don't know about you, but I want to catch it in this season. That's why for me, I want to be around Pastor Benny. I want to be around Dr. Rodney R. Brown, uh, Dr. Robert Slurda. I want to be around the generals as much as possible. Because let me tell you, there's a shaking and a shifting. And when the enemy is trying to attack the family unit, what does the devil do? He attacks the fathers and the mothers first. He attacks yes. the leaders first because once you take out the heads of protection, then the children are vulnerable. And let me tell you, I have a fear in my spirit, prophet. I have a fear in my heart for this generation 
Because when I look around and I see, okay, you got Isaiah Saldivar, David Diga Hernandez, Prophet Leon, you got all these, you know, I could count on my hands, you know, number of movers and shakers in their 30s that are going after the glory of God. Sage, miracles, signs, wonders, raising the dead, honoring the prophetic. I could count on my hands, but we need more. Someone say more. We need more. And let me tell you, this is what my heart is. This is what Prophet Leon's heart is. As we're doing this convergence, this prophetic convergence, and the Lord is going to release that. Listen, people of God, right now there is a release of batons, and there is a release of mantles. And let me tell you, even what I carry, what Prophet Leon carries with this convergence, God is going to release a multifaceted mantle to you. But that mantle, it also looks like community. It's a wineskin. It's a wineskin for the new wine. Now, Prophet, uh, you know, we've been going back and forth about this prophetic convergence, about this new wineskin. You want to just talk about that a little bit and why that's necessary in this season for people who hunger the prophetic, people who want to grow in the prophetic. Why is this necessary, this new breed of prophetic convergence, this type of family, this community God's bringing together? You know, obviously, we all know the scripture. Um, we all know the scripture that says, but the day in, 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 in Matthew chapter number nine, verse 15, I, I think it says this, it says, but the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. And then they will not let, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to read this a little bit earlier. I want you to, and I'm reading the scripture prophetically, not theologically. I'm going to read it from a prophetic standpoint, from a revelatory standpoint. So any theologian, you can get off the stream or you can be open-minded about this right now. I'm not uh, hermeneutically uh, taking the scripture or exegetically opening up the scripture. I anyway don't like hermeneutics because hermeneutics is coming from the God Hermes. Okay, so that's a whole nother thing. So, um, uh, uh, but let me read from Matthew chapter number nine, verse number 14. Then the disciples of John came to him saying, why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, can the friends of the bridegroom mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But now listen to this. This is what I want you to hear. But the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. And then they will fast. The days will come. Let me rephrase that. And rewrite the Bible for you so that there's not the YouTube video can be made on us here. And uh, and uh, 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 it says, let me re rephrase it. The days will come when generals will be taken away from you. And then you will fast. No one puts a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment for the patch pulls away from the garment and the tear is made worse. Jesus said he had to go. There's generals that had to go. Nor do they put new wine in, into old wineskins or else the wineskin breaks. The wine is spilled and the wineskins are ruined. But they put new wine into new wineskins and both are preserved. So there is an old God. There is an old generation. There is a previous generation that, um, you know, some of them, have become pioneers. They were pioneers of yesterday and persecutors of today. Some of them, they hold on to their mantles and they kill and eat every young minister that is coming up. And I want to read you something. Can I, can I, can I go on, uh, yeah. Dr. Ben? Can I read something? I want to read you something. There was a famine that was taking place in, uh, 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 in, in, in Samaria. There was a, there was a famine that was taking place. And I and and uh, let me read you something. Let me read. You. I'm just trying to find my find my place here because something horrible happened in this famine. The people began to eat their own children, and this is a prophetic image of what is happening today. Doctor Ben was mentioning some names. He was saying himself, me, Isaiah, Daniel Adams, Vlad, uh, and uh, and we're just speaking of the United States right now in in South Africa. It's, it's it's, it's myself, there's my friend uh, Gibbert, and, and that's about it. There's not much 
um, when I'm speaking, and we're not saying there are not other ministers. We are not saying there are not other prophets or apostles. We are saying those who have a public platform, whom God has graced with influence, and that is doing something and moving and shaking and going out and doing something. Okay? So we're not saying there are not people that are not being used by God. We're not saying that at all. We're not saying we're the only ones. We're just bringing a point of truth through eternity. But listen to this. And let me read from verse 24. 2 Kings chapter number 6, verse 24. 2 Kings chapter number 6, verse 24 says, And it happened after this that ben king of Syria, gathered all his army and went up and besieged Samaria. And there was a great famine in Samaria. And indeed, they besieged it until a donkey's head was sold for 80 shekels of silver and one-fourth of a cup of dove drop, being for five shekels of silver. Then as the king of Israel was passing by on the wall, a woman cried out to him saying, Help me, my lord, O king. Let me tell you, days are coming when this is going to happen in the stock market. Days are coming when a famine is coming. We are not doom and gloom prophets. We, we have never prophesied doom and gloom. It is just that right now it is the time of doom and gloom. That is why we are prophesying and we are speaking the word of the Lord. You know, people are saying, oh, speak positive, speak positive. Then we speak positive. Then they say we're prosperity preachers. And then when we speak negative, then they say we're doom and gloom prophets. Listen, you can never win and, what, and want what people want. They call Jesus a wine bibber. They call John the Baptist a, a demon. They said uh, uh, that he cast out devils by the power of Belzeb. Jesus cast out devils by the power of Beelzebub. They called out John the Baptist. They said he has a demon. Uh, Jesus and Weinberber. It doesn't matter what you do or who you are. You will never please people. Just make sure that you please God. So li listen to this. So a donkey's head was sold for 80 shekels of silver. Guys, this is coming. The crash has not even started yet. The recession has not even started yet. They equal this recession to worse than 2000 and uh, to the one that is in, in I don't know whether it is, 38 or 34, uh, sorry, 1934, 1938, uh, that will be worse than that one, where it was the Great Depression, the starting of the Great Depression, because of how the signals are showing. But if you look at the, um, if you look at the war that is happening between Russia and Ukraine, and they're blaming a lot on that, you see what Pelosi is doing with Taiwan, which is not just the biggest load of nonsense, anyway, that is happening there. I mean, I mean, America is just just in the biggest mess that she can be. It, there is no greater time for the United States to be in revival right now. There's no greater time for people to go out on the streets and get people saved and preach the gospel from crates, preach the gospel in tents, preach the gospel in town halls, wherever you can, preach the gospel, cast out devils. It's the greatest time ever because, listen, the markets isn't going to save you. Jesus is going to save you. So listen to this. Then as the king of Israel was passing by on the wall. Now listen to this. As the king of Israel, he is a king, was passing by on the wall, a woman cried out to him saying, help me, my lord, O king. First of all, the king was in the wrong place. A king is not supposed to be on a wall. A king is supposed to be in a command center in the palace. He is not supposed to be on the wall. Watchmen are supposed to be on the wall. So here we find leaders who are out of place. They've become insecure. They are out of place. They are no longer doing what they are called to be doing. And uh, they are trying to help people they are not supposed to be helping. And he said, if the Lord does not help you, where can I find help for you? From the threshing floor or from the wine press? Now I can preach on that for a whole night, which I'm not going to get into. Then the king said to her, what is troubling you? And she answered, this woman said to me, give your son that we may eat him today and we will eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son and ate him. And I said to her on the next day, give your son that we may eat him. But she has hidden her son. Now it happened when the king heard the words of the woman that he tore his clothes and as he passed by on the wall, the people looked and there underneath he had sackcloth on his body. Then he said, God, do so to me and more also if the head of Elisha, the son of Shaphat, remains on him today. Let me tell you, we are entering a season where prophets are going to make kings and presidents mad. I've already started with it in South Africa. Some of them are mad at me. 
And then it says this, it says that they ate their own children because the leaders was out of place. We are finding ourselves in a season in the body of Christ where the leaders are out of place and they are eating the young. They are eating young leaders, young apostles, young prophets, young evangelists, young pastors, young teachers that has a fire that is rising up. The moment they're 25, 26 years old, they're full of passion, full of fire. They're doing something for the kingdom. They are being taken out and eaten by leaders. I have started with many, probably 20, 30 young people. I'm one of the only ones left in South Africa that's doing something out of that group that I started with, you know, because they are being taken out by a religious system. So these things has to end. That is why God is bringing convergence. That is why the Spirit of the Lord is bringing, a, I don't want to say network, I want to say even association, I want to say convergence and a friendship, but where there is a convergence and a, and a almost like a Jonathan and a Saul being a Jonathan, a Jonathan and a David's soul that is knitted together, there is a friendship that is beginning to take place. Jesus Jesus says, I no longer call you slaves or servants. I call you my friends. And we and, and God is going to bring a whole new wineskin. It is going to be take, it's going to happen through young people that are that are just friends, that is going to be connecting. I mean, I mean, you know, this isn't it amazing that people from all over the world knows us, you know, because of internet. You know, uh, people from all over the world. I, I I meet people from. I meet one. I met one prophet in in the UK, and he's like, no, he knows me. You know, he's he's a, a young guy, he, and he's doing a great work. And he's like, no, he knows me. He's following my ministry for so long, and and I'm thinking it's amazing what the internet can do. God bypassed the pulpits to let us connect via the internet because myself and Dr. Ben would never have been able to connect if we uh, if it wasn't for the internet. If it well, well, you, you know, we, we connected on the internet and we connected physically, but it's it's God is going to do so much more. So why do we need prophets? Listen to this. But Elisha was sitting in his house, and the elders were sitting with him, and the king sent a man ahead of him. But before the messengers came to him, he said to the elders, Do you see how the son of a murderer has sent someone to take away my head? Look, when the messenger comes, shut the door and hold him fast at the door. Is not the sound of his master's feet behind him? And while he was still talking with them, there was the messenger coming down to him. And then the king said, surely this calamity is from the Lord. Why should I wait for the Lord any longer? Then Elijah said, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, tomorrow about this time, a seer of fine flour shall be sold for a shekel and two seers of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. So an officer on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, look, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, can this thing be? And he said, in fact, you shall see it with your own eyes, but you shall not eat of it. There are people. Listen to me. Prosperity is coming. Prosperity is coming back to the nation of the United States. Prosperity is coming back to South Africa. But there are people that's not going to eat of it. So they are a remnant that God is holding amongst out. And there's a remnant that God is holding to himself and he's protecting his God in you. You think you are suffering, but you're not suffering. God is protecting you so that you can eat of the, of the fruit of the land and the prosperity and the fatness of the land. And that is going to come after this famine. So why do we need prophets to prophesy us out of a famine, to prophesy a famine and to prophesy us out of a famine. Why do we need prophets? Because it's Christ's gift that is given to the body of Christ. I was threatened and said that prophets is no longer needed in South Africa by some of the greatest ministers, some of the greatest politicians and ministers in this nation. I was threatened and said that apostles and prophets is no longer, is no longer needed in this nation. And uh, they're going to make sure that prophets will be removed from the nation of South Africa. Let me tell you, the day that that happened, like they said, they bring me the head of Elisha on a platter. They said the same to John the Baptist. They said, you know, the value of a prophet, Dr. Ben, the value of a prophet is so powerful. Herod was looking at his daughter, watching his daughter dance. And as she was dancing, he said, you're dancing so beautiful, so beautifully. Ask me anything up to half of my kingdom and I'll give it to you today. And he said, ask me of anything up to half of my kingdom and I'll give it to you. She could have had palaces, properties, servants, slaves, uh, riches, fame, pop, everything she wanted. She could have had. But yet she said these words. She says, give me the head of John the Baptist on the platter, which means the value of a prophet is up to half of the kingdom. My goodness, that is a word prophet, the value of a prophet. And that's how powerful. 
how valuable the blood of a prophet is. And yeah. that's why we're seeing attacks. I mean, man of God, you just said so much right now, but we need prophets. We need prophetic intercessors. We need men and women of God to rise up. Why? Because prophets will prepare the people. We already understand that John the Baptist prepared the way of the Lord. So prophets prepare the people. Prophets will also predict the future. If you cut out the prophets and the seers, then you're going to cut out the eyes of God and the sense of God and the voice of God and the voice of God. Yes. And the ears of God. So prophets are sensitive, consecrated people. They are beings that have been set apart by God to be the voice, the mouth, the ears and the eyes of God to predict the future, to warn the people of what's to come. And also prophets are also to release protection. Everyone say protection. That's three things. Preparation, uh, preparation, prediction. And protection and prophets release a preservation. It is a spirit of Come preservation. On. Yes. It's salt and light where they begin to preserve the community and the holiness and the sanctity of God. Absolutely. So once you take out the prophets, then that wall and that shield and the barrier is taken out, which makes you vulnerable. And prophets, we need to warn the people, alarm, sound the alarm because there are other things coming. Don't be so full of yourself where you say, oh, these are the golden days. This is the golden age of David and Solomon where now we're nonchalant. No, there's always an enemy that's lurking. And there's always something that's trying to creep out the door. So we need prophets. And let me tell you, I believe Prophet Leon and myself were committed to releasing that type of convergence globally where we're going to yes. connect and converge globally so that we can continue to sound the alarm and we're super excited about what god's doing because there is a false prophetic movement as prophet leon said where they eat each other alive that's cannibalism there's so much cannibalism in the charismatic so much cannibalism in the prophetic so much mafioso gang mentality type of uh you know spirit in the prophetic and in Ministries and God has taken all of that away, and as a cleansing, He's purifying the prophetic. Absolutely, as a purging, as a cleansing comes, the true and the real is going to remain. Not people who apologize for words, not people who shrink back on their words, but people who stand and who, and people and prophets who apologize for prophesying something that didn't come to you. Don't apologize. Where have we seen Jeremiah apologize? Ezekiel apologize? Come on, man. So we need to stand upon the word of the Lord. And let me tell you, God is raising up that authority, like Prophet Leon said, like, uh, like Benson uh, Idioso. I mean, incredible, shook a nation and made history. So there's so much that God wants to do, and you are part of the next move. If you believe that, say amen. Listen, God is releasing a spirit of prophecy. And probably in a few minutes, myself and Prophet Leon, we're going to start ministering to you prophetically. But my goodness, there's so much going on right now, Prophet. And last night, I mean, like I said, I had difficulty sleeping. I probably slept for about two hours and I woke up, checked my phone, and you and I, we began to talk. Right after that, the Spirit of the Lord visited me. God met me. Uh, actually, an angel of the Lord visited me, and it was a prophetic angel, and this angel began to show me certain things about the future. Now, if you follow me on our page, you already know I've been talking about the five different wars. And I know Prophet Leon got that word as well, so we're going to go into that in a little bit. But as this prophetic angel visited me, Prophet, I wanted to sleep because I need my sleep. Today's a mm -hmm. day. I got a big week, you know, uh, so I, I, I need my rest, right? And God gives rest to those that he loves, amen? But even as this angel visited me, this angel began to show me a number of different things. And I just want to start that off first, and then I'm going to defer back to you, Prophet. But this morning, as I was tossing and turning, and this prophetic angel visited me, the Lord began speaking and showing these things. Now, I've never released this before publicly, but this is the first time I'm releasing. So you need to hear this, people of God. Okay, the Lord said, number one, many nations are going through a shaking, and there will be a toppling and upheaval of governments. What does that mean? I saw revolutions. I saw coups. I saw guerrilla warfare. I literally saw certain nations and governments becoming like nothing. What I saw in the spirit as this angel encountered me uh, early this morning in the middle of the night, I saw in the spirit certain nations, countries becoming like nothing. They became like shaft in the wind. And the Lord specifically highlighted some Eastern European countries and some of the smaller Southeastern 
uh, Southeast Asia countries like Vietnam and Cambodia. And the Lord also showed me uh, Eastern European, uh, the Slavic nations. So the Lord showed me in the spirit that some of these smaller countries are going to become like nothing. It's going to blow in the wind like shaft. And this shocked me because I saw the toppling and the upheaval of governments. There's going to be some coups. There's going to be some revolutions. There's, there's going to be some upheavals where different movements of people are going to take over. So we need to pray against this, people of God. We need to pray into this. I also saw that we need to pray for China and against the Chinese dragon spirit. Because I saw the tail of the dragon from China trying to sweep across Asia. So we need to pray against that. I also saw very clearly, hear me now, people of God. I saw different countries being flooded. I saw nations being flooded. And I know, again, I've been prophesying about the war on weather and the extreme weather. I've been prophesying about this for the last two, three months, actually. And it's already coming to pass. And of course, one week ago, South Korea had the worst flood in its history. And nine people died. But I saw different countries that were under floods of water. And some of these countries did not recuperate. Some of these countries did not recover. So I saw certain countries underwater. They were flooded underwater. So listen, people of God, I believe right now that we need to pray. Another thing I saw, Prophet, I saw people running and hiding. And it reminded me of the verse in Isaiah that they will run to the mountains. And I saw people running and hiding because IRS agents, because secret agents, because these monitoring spirits were following them and chasing them. But let me tell you, God is going to cover you. And I also saw this. My goodness, you need to hear this, people of God. I saw, I actually saw banks being closed. The enemy is going to try to steal your money by closing the banks. We already know, myself, Prophet Leon, other people, we, we, we're receiving from the same spirit. We're hearing from the same Lord. But we've been prophesying, talking about the financial crisis. And even as Prophet Leon said, it's going to be greater than the Great Depression or as great. I agree. I believe that. We have not even seen the beginning of it in this season. But I saw different banks getting shut down. And they were intentionally closing their doors, withholding your money. They were intentionally withholding wire transfers. They were intentionally shutting down cryptocurrency. Now, I believe cryptocurrency is the future, and that's another conversation. But I saw different blockchains, different platforms in the technology realm intentionally being shut down. And this is what we call the Great Reset. This is the Great Reset of the left, of the globalists, of the one world agenda. But I saw the shutting down of different blockchains, and the ability to get money, your money, the ability to get the transfers out. And so the enemy is going to get to do this. So I saw assets being stolen, bank accounts becoming frozen, and banks and transfers stopped. So there's going to be banks and corporations and online corporations of transferring of money, why it's going to be stopped. So people of God, you need to get ready. You need to stack up and be ready. Jesus say. So I release that word right now. And let me tell you, we need to pray against the war. Because I believe from today. Thank you. And I believe from today so the next two months to September, which is Rosh Hashanah, and then from Rosh Hashanah to November, we need to pray. Because whenever there's something around the Jewish holidays, that's why the terrorist attacks happen in 9-11, 9-1-1. Whenever we're stepping into the Jewish holidays, the new Hebrew year, something happens with Israel and the nations. So we need to pray, people of God. So get ready, prepare, prepare. I want you to give us some hearts and lights, and I want you to pray in the spirit of God right now. Because prophet, talk to me. Even as uh, the Lord met me this morning, this morning after you and I, we, we finished talking, the Spirit of God visited me and an angel visited me. This prophetic angel began to show me these things. Now, does this bear witness with you? What has God been showing you about the days to come? I want you to prophesy 
as the Lord has been speaking to you. Talk to us, Prophet. So um, I shared with you that I had a vision a few days ago, and in this vision I saw. Now, first of all, I want to say that um, I actually gave this vision, a part of this vision, part of this prophecy, on live stream on Facebook. It is on my Facebook page. You can go there and go uh, listen to it. It is there, recorded. Um, this was before myself and Ben, uh, Dr. Ben spoke uh, about anything. Um, I'm only hearing it from him now. And, uh, 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 you know, but I was prophesying and I said, number one, oh, sorry, I had in a vision, I saw in a vision. I saw the banks in South Africa closing down like the banks in Zimbabwe and Venezuela. Wow. And the Lord has been telling me to do a strategy, especially when it comes to our church money, uh, to do three strategies because we've got a lot of money uh, that is sitting in banks. And the people, the greatest deception is that people are going to think their money is safe in the banks. Listen, every bank has a clause. They can take your money. It is, if people think that, oh, it will never happen. It happened to Venezuela. It happened to Zimbabwe. And we are on the markers. The, we are the closest country to Venezuela and Zimbabwe. The markers is so great that it is, that it is almost inevitable for us not to go there. In South Africa, I'm speaking now very specifically. So please, I'm not saying pull out all your investments and selling your investments. Prophet Leon is not saying that. I'm also not giving you any financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial professional. Uh, please go and see your financial advisor before you make any financial decisions, okay, before I get sued or anything like this. This is for entertainment purposes only. So uh, um, uh, I have... Um, I had a vision and I saw the bank shut down. I saw people screaming. I saw people in panic and not being able to get their monies out. I saw the um, I saw uh, people not being able to get their monies out. I saw a safe haven with gold. And the Lord reminded me again that gold is will be a safe haven. Gold will be a safe haven. And uh, 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 then secondly, I saw a war, a civil war that is threatening to break out in the nation of South Africa. And it's going to be turned into a race war once again. Watch this year. This year going into next year, or let me say like this, watch this next year length, this next year from now up until next year this time. Watch what is going to happen, says the Lord, especially around the month of June and July. And at the same time at that vision, the Lord said to me, you will see a war breaking out in the United States of America, a civil war that is threatening to break out. And I saw a people on the streets with torches. I saw people on the streets with fire. I saw people on the streets as a revolutionary and I saw this war not as a war as we think a war but a war amongst the people that is going to rise up and is going to take authority and is going to break things and because they have enough of enough of the lies of the Democrats and had enough of the lies of what things have been covered up by the leftists and all these things happening and I saw this in the United States and the Lord said to me this is a threat if the church can pray and can stand together these things can be stopped if the church can pray together and stand together, these things can be softened. It is not a war that is going to destroy the nations. But if this, if the church, and I'm speaking now specifically in South Africa, this thing that wants to break out bloodshed last year, I think it was last year or the year before, I prophesied it. And so many people said, oh, you all you little flakies that are following and spies that are following me on here. And I know for who you are following and etc. and etc. But let me leave that one alone. I said, oh, Leon, that guy that prophesied a civil war and he's prophesied bloodshed and 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 then next thing I saw my name on court papers and I'm going to take be taken to court because I have I have uh, I have prophesied civil war or bloodshed. Listen, man, uh, I'm a prophet and uh, I prophesied it and it said in July on the newspapers civil war is civil war breaking out in the nation of South Africa and I clearly said if the church prays. It will not happen. 
if the church stands together, it will not happen. Now I see the same threat and the same enemy wanting to come. But the Lord is also telling me that the spirit of God that was in the nation of Nigeria and the revival and the power that was in the nation of Nigeria shall come upon the nation of South Africa as it was in Nigeria in times past where generals were raised. So it shall be in the nation of South Africa, but the nation of South Africa shall send generals out into the other nations which has never happened before in the history of this nation maybe one or two has gone out and that's about it but never has generals being sent out or never has this nation of south africa been known for generals to have gone out and changed other nations and lord said to me i see the anointing the anointing that was in nigeria especially with benson idahosa uh, shall come into the nation of south africa and then generals shall be raised up and they shall be sent out and the nation of south africa shall be known as a godly nation where they where there's a strong heavy anointing many will fly into south africa to come yes. and receive from this revival year many shall fly in many shall fly and we already have people flying in just our church we have people flying in from the uk from europe from holland from the netherlands from canada from the united states from uh we have people flying in from everywhere just to come and receive but this thing shall increase where people shall come in from the nations and they shall come to receive god in the nation of south africa but this war that i see that is about to break out the church is to stand together and pray against this i am not prophesying negative bloodshed but i'm saying to you there will be bloodshed there will be tears there will be many tears unless the church prays especially for one figure to fall and that figure to fall very quickly Wow. And many will know which figure I'm speaking about. For I prophesy and I speak that once this figure falls, yes. there'll be a celebration that will take place. But the Lord is saying, I have also declared a thing that shall cause this, this figure will cause a persecution, a great persecution to come. That shall cause the move of God. It's a paradox in the prophecy that shall cause the move of God to come. Many fear Fear will hit the hearts of many. Heart attacks will happen. People will drop down dead left, right and center. Heart attacks. Fear will come to the hearts of men. But do not fear, says the Lord. Do not fear over the next three to four years. For I shall turn the hearts of the people and the hearts of the leaders in this nation of South Africa around, says the Spirit of God. And you shall see a revival. They will again try to stop the church, but it shall not happen. Wow. My goodness, prophet, as you were prophesying, I saw a lion come down from Nigeria and go to South Africa. And of course, the lion is from Africa. And I saw this lion go to South Africa and specifically into Pretoria, Johannesburg, which is the governmental seat. And I saw a shaking. It's the lion of the tribe of Judah. It's the lion of the church, the apostolic and the prophetic, the fivefold. And I saw a shaking in the government of South Africa, prophet. Come on. Wow, my so the lion is going to roar out of South Africa. If you believe it, say South Africa, for it's the most southern point of the whole African continent. Sorry, prophet. No, I'm saying who, when the lion roars, who can but prophesy? Come on, my goodness. And prophet, as you were ministering, I was reminded the spirit of the Lord came to me. And the spirit of God said, we need to pray against assassination attempts. Okay, I want you to hear me now. All right, earlier this year, I released 22 prophetic words for this year, 2022. You can see it on YouTube. Almost everything has already come to pass, all right? The Lord instructed me. He gave me 22 specific prophetic words for this year, 2022. And one of the words that God gave me was pray against assassination attempts against Joe Biden. Now, you know me. I don't like Biden, okay? I don't like the left. I don't like all that evil, swampy nonsense, right? But the Lord said pray against assassination attempts against Biden. So even as the prophet was prophesying right now, I had just come up on my spirit right now that we need to pray against assassination attempts. What happened with Boris Johnson in the UK? What happened right now even in Sri Lanka? What's going on in Venezuela? What's going on in Japan? The prime minister uh, that was just assassinated. So there are assassination attempts, headhunter attempts. There are targets right now. So we need to pray against assassination attempts against Joe Biden and President Donald J. Trump. Let me tell you right now, people of God, the enemy is scared. So right now he knows 
that his that there's going to be a closing of a door very soon. That's why he is releasing havoc, and he is, uh, you know, he is uh, scared right now. So he's trying to cause as much havoc and damage as possible. But the Holy Spirit is giving us wisdom and insight and intel so that we will release the prophetic word and we will begin to pray into this so that it will be established. So, Lord, I thank you for the fire of God. And I thank you that no Jezebel, no witch, no witch's house, no warlock, no coven. It will not prosper. And I thank you for exposure. For hear this. The Lord says right now, even in the next four months, even by the end of this year, 2022, you will see. More major public figures and politicians being exposed and going home to be with the Lord. Even in the next four months, by the end of this year, you will see more major public ministers be exposed. You will see more public uh, figures in the secular religious realm fall, be exposed, and go home to be with the Lord. And this is a sign, says God, because I am shaking and I'm releasing a new, and I'm raising up a new breed. Prophet, any last thoughts and words, your man of God? You're on mute right now, friend. Sorry, this thing. Uh, as 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 you were speaking, Jesus. People need to understand the urgency of the hour. The urgency of the hour. Jesus said, when I come back, will I find faith on the earth? You know, and what we are saying and what we are doing is not to instill fear. The voice of God is to instill faith, is to tell you that things will be okay. Even though it will not be okay, this one will die and that one will die. And you're very spot on with the assassination attempts. We need to pray against that. We need to pray against that because they're going to do something to get rid of him. And uh, 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 we need to pray against that. But, but uh, you know, this is not to instill fear. It's to, to instill faith that you can know that the Lord is still speaking. The Lord is still wide awake. We serve a God that neither sleeps nor slumbers. He's wide awake. He's on his throne. He's wide awake. He is, his voice is in the earth because of prophets. And that is why prophets cannot be removed. The moment a prophet is removed out of a nation, the prosperity of that nation is taken away. And you see poverty come into the nation. That is why we must pray for your prophets in your nation, whichever nation you are in. In fact, right now in the comments, why don't you put on for us, uh, tell us which nation you are from, whether it is the flag or you type it out. But give us the nation where you are watching from right now and pray for the prophets in your nation. In fact, you know, tag your prophets in that nation if you can. So put your, put your nation name and tag the prophets in the nation and we're going to pray for them because once a prophet is removed out of a nation the prosperity and the protection and the preservation of that nation is taken away the bible says that god's people uh, israel was preserved by a prophet yes israel was preserved by a prophet and when we see uh prophet jeff jan and going it is you know like 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 um ben you know i didn't even shed a tear because i was angry yeah, uh, 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 I was angry because um, it was not right. It was it was. Yes, we understand things. We understand uh, generals going and we understand the mantles falling and we understand all those things. But there was something that doesn't smell right behind the scene. And, uh, you know, I was speaking to him three days before that. And I said to him, I said, Prophet Jeff, I said, I, I shared with him some personal things and private things. And then I said to him, I said, I want you really, really, really watch your back. Watch your back. I said, I feel just watch your back. Watch every move. Death is lurking. Watch every move and watch your back. That was my last words to him. And uh, uh, I thought of something totally different when I was speaking, you know, and uh, when it comes to monitoring spirits, you don't even need spirits anymore to monitor. The government is going to monitor you within the next two to three years. You will have drones all over the place monitoring you. And uh, these are the things that is coming. And that is why we need the spirit of God. I've got some contacts in China right now. If you can only see what is happening in China, Dr. Ben, I don't know if you have seen what's happening. It is, it is 
ridiculous. I have friends, I've got partners in China that are stuck in their flats for months and they track them. If you walk out, drones come and will report you they track you they shut down every bank account they take out every cent they punish you it is the most ridiculous things that there is you cannot leave the country you cannot leave the border you cannot enter into transport they've got the online credit system and that online credit system is here for 2030 it's called 2030 vision they're going to implement it into the whole world do not get excited when you hear pan-african Okay, so, wow. so uh, 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 I see, let me check the nations here, let me check the nations here. I see people saying from the United States, Ben Lim, Charlie Shamp, JC Shamp, Thaddeus Carter. Oh, oh, that's a prophet you're tagging. Okay, 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 I see. Uh, yes, protect Apostle Joshua Salmon, South Africa, Leon de Priam, USA, Father God, uh, USA, 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 South Africa, USA. South Africa, Prophet Leon, pray for prophets of Lord, Apostle Joshua Salmon. We pray for Apostle Joshua. I know Apostle Joshua Salmon. We pray for him. I'm going to see him next month. Um, United States, USA, USA, yes, yes. South Africa, South Africa encounter. Prophet Leon, pray for prophets in our nation. USA, USA, amen, Prophet Leon. United States, USA, some nation which language I can't read, but I'm we trusting. Um, amen, amen. God is still speaking. Come on, let us know what nation you're watching from, guys and tag a prophet, write a prophet's name down, tag a prophet's name uh, so that we can see. I'm watching from South Africa, Johannesburg. Our church is called Christ. Presiding bishop is Dr. Abel Akbanke. And guys, specifically prophets, okay? Specifically prophet Andre Lowe. Yes, my friend, prophet Andre Lowe. Uh, don't buy this. This is a money prophet. Doki Wing, you can um, go. Uh, let me tell you something, Doki Wing. Only a demon follows somebody they don't like. Okay, so UK. Yep, don't get caught praying to God. Uh, Liesl van Staden, Leon, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, so I see people saying Lovi Elias. I love Lovi Elias, great prophet of God. Uh, ben Lim, Jolene Whitaker Ministries, Emmanuel. That is in the United States. So let's pray for the prophets. When Benjamin takes his seat back, watch what's going to take place. Amen. Uh, pray for Kenya. Just concluded an election. The church won big, but the tensions are high. So let us know what Lovi Elias, that's that's uh, Ian. Lovi is in Chicago, I believe, eh? Los Angeles or Chicago. Pray oh. for why USA, Dwight. Uh, pray for Pastor Edwin Capay. Awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Pastor Ben, thank you so much, Prophet Leon. Thank you so much. Robin Bollock, he's another prophet in the United States, which God has to, and we and you have to pray for Robin Bollock's protection. Please, guys, Amen. pray for Robin Bollock's protection. That's the other thing I wanted to say. Thank you for reminding me. I was praying for him. I'm not having, I didn't have a vision, didn't have anything. I know he's a great prophet, but I just had an urgency in my spirit last week to pray for Robin Bollock. And uh, I want you to pray for Robin Bollock, wherever you are in the United States, Pray for him. Pray for his protection. Uh, tell him Prophet Leon loves him. Maybe he knows me. Maybe he doesn't. Doesn't matter. Doesn't. I don't care. Lord, protect our prophets. I mean, essay Prophet Leon the prayer. Chris Oyekiloma and Pastor John Anusiki. Amen. United States Prophet Ben Lim, Jolene Whitaker. Amen. Prophet Andre Lowe, Gilbert Barron. Gilbert Barron is my best friend. Uh, Prophet Andre. Prophet Andre Lowe is also my good friend. Prophet Joshua Gills. Awesome, 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 guys. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. Uh, 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 Doctor Ben, over to you. Yeah, you know, I'm reminded of this word, Prophet, and I'm so encouraged. Again, uh, thank you everybody for just commenting. You need to pray for your pastors, your ministers. I, I remember Pastor Benny Hinn sharing this. And of course, you know, Pastor Benny is my, my pastor. And I remember he shared this like three years ago, Prophet. And he said that in America alone, there are about 1,200 pastors that are resigning every year in America alone. Every month, excuse me, yes. Every month, 1,200 pastors every month resigning in the United States alone. And this puts the fear of God in me. Because without the shepherds, the flock is scattered. Without the shepherds, the wolves and the bears are going to come after the sheep. And let me tell you, we need leadership today more than ever before. We need men and women of God to rise up today in strength and maturity and authority more than ever before. So listen, myself and Prophet Leon, in a few minutes, we're going to pray because we need a new breed of prophets and apostles to rise up. As you yes. see this book on my, on my screen here. I mean, God gave me this prophetic word years ago that there's a new breed of apostles and prophets rising up. 
lo and behold, Bob Jones, Paul Cain, all of the Ecclesia of the Kansas City Prophets, they prophesied about this many years ago. So there's a new breed. Someone say new breed. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you, people, God, before me and Prophet Leon begin to minister to you, hallelujah, I, I, I heard the word of the Lord remind me that there's going to be many people getting sued, indicted, tried, and sent to prison. Many people are going to get sued, indicted, tried, charged, and imprisoned. So let me tell you, court orders and court papers are being released from the courts of heaven. It's done and it's finished. God is going to release justice on the earth. Every wicked, false, evil spirit is going to be dealt with. By the hand of God. Someone say amen. People of God, I want everybody just to lift up your hands wherever you're watching from. And I want you to just begin to pray in the spirit. And I want you to give us some hearts and lights right now, even as you're responding. As every person is lifting up their hands right now. My goodness. Thank you, Jesus, for the power of God. Thank you, Jesus, for the glory of God. We pray. For a measure of the grace of God. Prophet, I want you to stretch out your hands even as I stretch out. We pray right now. We come in agreement that there will be a new grace, a new prophetic measure, a new impartation. Come on, somebody. Mantles, yes. cover, mantles of grace and mantles of glory will come up. I see angels being released to you. I see yes. the coming of God, Shekhan, Shekinah. Coming over you. Thank you, Lord. My that your family will be protected. Your business will be covered. Your health, your body will be sheltered by God. I break every monitoring to a spying spirit. I thank you right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. As the Lord is raising up and the Lord is bringing low. Hallelujah. People of God, in this moment, as your faith is high and as you're connecting, with the man of God, with the men of God here, as your faith, as your spirit is connecting with the men of God at this moment. I want to give you an opportunity right now to honor the men of God. Someone say honor. And right now, before myself and Prophet Leon, we move into any personal prophetic ministry. I want to open up right now. There's 1,100 of you watching plus. I want to open up right now an opportunity for you to sow into the man of God, Dr. Ben and Prophet Leon. So to amen. So we're we're going to put the link to sow on the screen. And also we're going to pin in the comments right here. Amen. I want to send my friend, Prophet Leon, uh, a wonderful check. I want, to, I don't want to bless the man of God. The Bible says that we need to honor the prophets. Amen. We need to take care of the prophets. It reminds me, uh, and you can just go ahead and put it, uh, Mr. Lord, but it reminds me, Prophet, of the story that in the days of Israel, where there was a famine, a Jewish mother had a son and she had one last loaf of bread. And she took that last loaf of bread to the rabbi instead of giving it to the son. Because if the rabbi was preserved, then the rabbi with all the education, the Torah knowledge and history was able to impart and release it. Amen. And so let me tell you, people of God, we need to honor the prophets, the men and women of God. So right now, hallelujah, we have pinned the link in the Facebook. Hallelujah. And you can click the link tree link to give. And even as you're sowing and connecting in faith, as you're honoring the men of God here today, I want you to comment double honor. I want you to comment double honor. We could just change that, Dolores. I want you to comment double honor in the chat group as you are pledging to sow, as you are pledging to give. I want you to type in double honor as you are sowing in this moment, people of God. Someone say amen. As you are sowing in this prophetic realm, into this prophetic anointing, my goodness. Hallelujah. And I just want to give you about five or so minutes. To begin to, to begin to release and to begin to sow into this moment, people of God. And as you sow and as you bless the man of God, the men of God here, hallelujah. I just want you to comment double honor and myself and Prophet Leon, we're going to call out your name in agreement. Someone say amen. So shout out to Yusuf, my son, God bless you. Miriam Eunice, God bless you. 
connect with faith connect with your sustenance honor with your sustenance honor the men of god hallelujah thank you jesus come on i want to give a few minutes right now before me and the prophet we begin to flow and minister thank you thank you jennifer thank you jolene thank you Keshika. thank you zantel uh, thank you, Cece. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Emmy Esther. Thank you so much. Double honor will be your portion. MJ. Thank you, MJ Maria. Uh, that's all the way from Kruger's Dorp. Savannah Smith. Double honor. Thank you so much. Lorinda. Thank you so much. Felipe. Thank you so much. Just comment double honor, guys, if you have given us. So much. And, and I want to tell you something that, uh, you know, um, Good. A lot of my people have heard stories that <laughs> our ministry steal money from me and so on. And and Dr. Ben isn't one of them, you know, uh, <laughs> he, he honors me and he, he blesses me. And my churches, they've just heard stories where we would preach out and the pastors would take up offerings in your name and they wouldn't give you a cent. It's not the case here. OK, it's not the case with Dr. Ben. We know how to honor one another. We are prophets. We know how to honor one another, how to bless one another. Uh, first, the Talyard says double honor, Prophet Dion. Amen. Double honor, double honor. Mark Valera say double honor. No, 19 pounds a month, that a lot, had a lot. Bless you, Font. Need to ask for people for money. Don't understand what you're saying there. Sydney Evan and double honor. Um, he's one of the young pastors, uh, apostles here in our city. Um, double honor, Sherry. Double honor, Jessica. Double honor, Renee. Double honor. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, everybody. And I'm so glad that you're enjoying the uh, broadcast. D Amen. Double honor, Tanya Holmes Henderson. Thank you so much. May God bless you for that uh, double, triple, eternal honor of Prophet Lovi, El Elias, Prophet Passion, Java. Amen. I'm not sure why you're putting their names on you there. I'm not exactly sure. They're probably uh, broadcast a little late, so they're they're seeing that. Ah, yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. God bless you. As we spoke about earlier, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, God bless you. Tortilla, God bless you. Shit, that up. I see JT, <laughs> Jason talking to some folks here. Love it. I just blocked them, actually. Prophet Ivana, God bless you. Sherry, God bless you. Verster, God bless you. God bless you. Mary, God bless you. Loren, God bless you. Go ahead, Prophet. No, no, I'm just, I'm just laughing at what Jason said. Of course. Yeah, you know, I mean, if, if it's not that, it's some zebras, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mary Longoria, God bless you. Come on, people of God, keep sowing in this atmosphere as myself and Prophet Leon, we agree right now. And then afterwards... We're going to begin to minister to some people personally as the Lord leads. Crystal, God bless you. Anya, Lynn, God bless you. Babette, God bless you. Thank you. Sheree, God bless you. Joanna, God bless you. Even as we broke through to 1,200 plus viewers live, Yes. And there's about 900 plus of you right now. I believe we can break through even in the sowing and in the obedience and in the agreement of faith right now. I believe we can break through. If you believe, say amen. Continue to give us some hearts and likes here as well, people of God. Pastor Sharon, God bless you. And like yes. to stay on the broadcast because myself and Prophet Leo, we're going to minister to a number of you personally in the spirit right after this. Hallelujah. Continue to respond, people of God. I want to give a few more minutes. Get the seed in the ground. Yes, you can sow later. Yes, you can sow after, absolutely. But there's something about tapping into this now Kairos moment. Duane, God bless you. Shit. Any names coming up for you there, Prophet? Uh, let me see. Sorry, I'm just I mute and unmute myself here when I keep when I talk and so on. So uh Charmaine Long uh I haven't actually checked on my side. Let me check on my side. Let me check on my side. I was here on your broadcast. 
and uh, Prophet, uh, God bless you. Uh, amen. Received double honor, double honor. Uh, okay, I'm a little bit late here. I see Kevin Bosov says double honor. Amen. Uh, double honor, Gabriel de Gama. Thank you, Gabriel. May God bless you. Um, and Gabriel, I have a word for you. I'm going to begin to prophesy. I'm going to begin to. Is that okay if I begin to prophesy, uh, 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 Dr. Ben? Yes, yes. Uh, Gabriel, I just saw that this is what the Lord is showing me that um, that uh, uh, I, I saw that this is what the Lord is showing me that fear will be removed from your heart. And what the enemy has intended to do is because of destiny that has been upon you. But the Lord is saying that I shall remove the fear and the clutches of fear of the enemy that he has tried to put into your back and the change that has tried to hold you down and say that you will not have success. For the Lord is saying, I shall take you to the top and I shall make you rise. For the change this day is broken. Yeah. For do not look at yourself the way the enemy wants you to look at yourself. Look at yourself the way that I have designed and created you to be. Do not ever be try to be humble or try to think that you are not worth anything because you're South African or this or that. No, 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 no. The Lord is saying I've made royalty and I've put royalty in, in your blood. For I shall raise you up in the dream that is in your heart. The dream that is in your heart. I will put you on stages in many places. And I shall put you on magazines in many places, says the Spirit of the Lord. For the Lord is saying, let fear and I break the curse that is in the bloodline of this family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bind its works. I break its power. The curse of a vagabond. The curse of vagabondcy. The curse of an orphan spirit. I break its power. In the name of Jesus Christ, the curse of poverty that has lurked at the door. That has stood at the door and lurking at the door. By the word of a prophet tonight. I take authority in the name of Jesus Christ over this. And the Lord is saying. Prosperity shall be your future. For when I speak to you again as a prophet in 10 years time, 10 years from now, you will be blessed materially. You will be blessed financially. You will be at the top. But the Lord is saying, be warned. Do not forget my name. Give glory to my name. Give honor to my name. And know that it is I, the Lord, that has put you there, says the Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. People of God, if you uh -huh. want to receive a personal prophetic word, I just want you to comment in the chat group. Pray for me. But I feel the pull of the Spirit of God right now. My goodness. Shut that. Is there anybody that's pulling on you in the Spirit, Prophet? I'm busy. I'm busy checking you now. Yes. I actually want to move. I actually want to move over back over to your to your one. Yes. So that so that I can be on your one. And uh, 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 a lady here named Mary Elizabeth Kesey. I want you to pray for her prophet. Because who's she, this? Mary Elizabeth Kesey. She she says, "Amen, fire, fire, fire." I just so double honor, bless you, prophets. Okay, okay. Mary, just comment for me again. Sorry, because I just changed over to 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 Doctor Ben's uh, thing, so uh, I can't um, see. I just want to see you. All I want to see is your face. That's what I want to see. Just want to see your face. You know, give us that as a prophet. <laughs> I always say, you know, I, I did a prophecy night on uh, on Telegram. Oh, my gosh. 6,000 people. And I couldn't even see a face. And I had to prophesy. And I prophesied accurately. But my God, was that something, you know. So just at least in the Old Testament and in real life, they see a face. So let me just see a face. Um, so it was Mary, you said, eh? Yes, Mary Keesley, I believe. Mary Kingsley, can you please uh, just comment again? Let's go to Kebrados, Cabrede Levende, Uskata, Ayakinema, Mesoketikinamas, Kotakaya, Le Esketikinama, 
The Lord is already beginning to see and speaking to me about you. Uh, Lovey, Prophet Lovey, good to see you, sir. Love when I see the men of God working together. The Lord just be glorified forever. Amen. Love to see you. Uh, I love to see you on here. And we honor you, Prophet Lovey. We honor you. We honor you from South Africa, uh, from the United States, from everywhere. Love you and appreciate you. Mary, come up for me, Mary. I was just prophesying. I was giving a word to somebody else. I don't see Mary coming on. So I'm just going to prophesy. Is that okay, Is that okay Dr. Ben? Uh, can I say what I see for her? Yes, go ahead, prophet. Let's keep moving. I'm going to say what I see for her. I don't see her commenting, but that's fine. Let me say what I see for her. So you asked me to give her a word. Is she? Tell me something. Is she married? I don't think she is. No. Okay. Because I see a very strange figure when I'm standing in front of you, Mary, right now. And Mary, the Lord is saying, do not be a fear. Do not be ashamed. I'm looking at a young female figure. I'm looking at a young daughter. I don't know if it is a daughter or a young female figure. I'm seeing somebody standing next to her. And the Lord is saying, uh, uh, I'm seeing this in a vision. But the Lord is saying, I'm also looking and I'm seeing in your right hand a microphone and I'm seeing in your left hand finances. And the Lord is saying, see what I will do in the next few years for you. See what I will do in the next 36 months for you. If I'm seeing in the one hand a microphone and I'm seeing in the left hand, I see finances. For the Lord is saying, that uh, the Lord is saying that uh, that 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 when it gets to 36 months, things in your relationships is going to change because the enemy has tried to place a curse, a blame shift, a black ring upon your relationships, a black rose upon your relationships. And I see this black rose in the spirit. And it has tried to poison and the finger and the pointing of the finger was all the time pointed to you. But the Lord is saying, no, 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 no. I'm seeing somebody. I'm looking in your past and I'm seeing somebody with a dark skin figure, a dark skin figure that that there was something that was happening, whether it was a relationship, whether it was an association, there was something that was happening. But now also I'm taking to the future. At the moment I'm seeing saying I'm speaking somebody of a dark complexion, a dark complexion, not a dark figure, a dark complexion. I'm taking the future, and as I said to you, I see a mic in the one hand, and I see finances in the other hand. There's a business that the Lord is opening up and giving to you, but I see a partnership that is going to come in, and a partnership that is going to be opening up. The Lord is saying for the first few months, be very careful, be very vigilant, because my hand is upon you, and do not think that you need this one, and need that one, or need this to succeed, or need that to succeed. I will protect you. There's something and someone dear to you that you have lost, or someone was dear to you that that the Lord has um, that I see that is missing. Uh, has she commented yet? No, I don't think so, Prophet. Unfortunately, is it is it Mary Longoria? No, it is Mary uh, Elizabeth Keesley, I believe. Mary Elizabeth Keesley. Well, yeah. you know, I hope she hears this word. I'm sure she'll hear it afterwards. Yes. Uh, let me let me just say this, and because you asked me to prophesy over her, so I'm going purely by faith right now, and this is not easy for a prophet to do. Uh, I at least like to just to see a face or to see something, but it is fine. I'm seeing a vision even as, even, even as I speak. What was I busy saying? I was speaking about a partnership. I was speaking about a business. I was speaking about uh, financial things that is going to be turned around. Be very careful when you look at partnerships for the Lord is saying I am graced you to do something by yourself for I'm looking upon you and I'm seeing a pen writing something I'm seeing the pen writing something I even seeing like a like a diary or a something like this written I'm looking at something that's designed for the Lord is saying there's a creativity that is about you that is going to come forth but do not underestimate the power of the speaking in your voice and the power of your voice that is going to come forth that is what the mic represents in the other hand for even though there's a creativity that's going to cause finances to come in, there's a power of a voice that's going to cause finances to come in. For the Lord is saying this thing that has been on relationships, even in the family before you, even in the family before you, there's a family before you and a family before you. The enemy has tried to come against marriage of the marriage of the marriage, and it shall not happen with you, says the Spirit of God. 
because there is one, oh yes, this is where I was, there's one that was taken. There's one, I see a loss. Now, I don't know if it was a death or if it was a loss, if it was a separation, what was taking place, but it caused much grief. And the Lord is saying that I shall, I shall, um, uh, 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 I, the Lord is saying, I shall, um, okay, I see somebody's commenting, uh, sending me WhatsApp message here, Dr. Ben, saying, Mary Elizabeth Kesey says, wow, it, maybe she's on our stream or somewhere, I'm not exactly sure. My guys, just keep sending me just the comments, just keep sending me the, Martin, keep sending me the screenshots of what she's saying. She's saying, wow, uh, maybe give me some more indication, Mary, that I can just go deeper. That's the way that I can go deeper. You know, once I, I don't really know her personally, but I know, that that's a true word. So you're on it, prophet. But I, I, so if she can just give me some affirmation because a prophet requires affirmation. And if I get affirmation, I can go deep. You know, I can go deep just to get some type of indication because I was shotgunning, shotgunning, shotgunning of visions that I'm seeing. So, so, so uh, let me just tell you, I saw the, the loss of one thing. And now I see your, your picture here. So there was somebody with a dark complexion of a skin that caused a relationship or caused pain and heartache, mm. a dark complexion. And the Lord is saying, I will heal your broken heart and trust will come back when it comes to male figures. Trust will come back Good. when it comes to, or let me rather say when it comes to authority figures. For the Lord is going to use you. I see a microphone. I don't know if you sing or not. I hope you sing. I also see something else. I see that there will be an estate that is going to be released. I looked at the property and I'm seeing property one and property two and property three. And I see the Lord is saying, my blessings is going to be poured out upon your life. There's a world that has been held back and there's an estate that has been held back. And there's some confusion of some things that is happening, even if I'm speaking in the future right now. But these things are going to be sorted out. The Lord is saying, even when you walk in that these things happen, know that that my word is spoken and I shall do as I have spoken, says the Spirit of God. Wow, my goodness. Mary, I, I'm sad that I, I don't see your name coming up, but she is on. She is on. She's on your stream, they say. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't I don't I haven't seen her name come up. Well, Prophet, let's minister over a few more people as we keep them moving here. Um yes. And I'm looking on your, your page right now. Thank and you, you feel free to prophesy as well. Yes, probably. Please. My goodness. You know, I, I really wish we had more time. We could just prophesy from more, over more and more people just continuously. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's uh, Menaka, Menaka Pretorius. Menaka yes, yes. Pretorius. Yes, prophesy over, please. Yes, woman of God, lift up your hands because the Lord just highlighted Hunger for prophecy, prophet, fire, fire emoji. But I, I saw right now a red carpets being rolled out before you. And I heard the Lord say that I'm going to begin to close doors to frauds and scam artists. Okay, because there's some projects that you're working on. And I see some scripts. I see movie scripts. And I see some books, okay? I see scrolls in your hand. But there's some projects you're working on. But I heard the Spirit of God say, be aware of scam artists and frauds. Because they're trying to approach you like wolves in sheep's clothing. So in this season, even as a red carpet is being rolled out before you, God is also closing the door. The Holy Spirit is also giving you wisdom and discernment and the fear of God. Because God says where you're going, where you're going, you cannot bring in the old. You cannot bring in the familiar or the familiarity or the familiar spirits. But I heard the Lord say, get ready for visitation of dreams and visions. My still small voice is going to become very loud and accurate over you. And there's going to be some ideas and visions. Uh, I even forgot the name already. Uh, excuse me. But the Lord's going to begin to give you some dreams and visions, woman of God, that is going to give you some ideas of some incredible businesses and incredible scrolls and scripts and books and movies and so lord i thank you for the power of god i thank you for breakthrough ideas and breakthrough solutions over this woman of god that she will only go where you are leading her and she will only do 
what you are leading her to do in the name of Jesus, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet in the name of Jesus. Now, I forgot your name already, woman of God, because the names, the posts are just coming in like wildfire. But if that word makes sense, if you receive that, I want you to just comment, uh, just respond. But I also heard the Lord say, get a pen and a pad ready. Because God is going to speak to you in the middle of the night. So downloads are going to come. So steward the prophetic words, ideas that God gives you. So get your journal ready. Because God, in Jesus' name. Yes. I saw somebody's name on here. Uh, 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 uh. Let me just get. I saw somebody's name on here. Let me just. Let me just. Um, let me just go. My goodness. I saw no star. I saw somebody. I saw Jackie Van Veek on your, on on your stream here. I don't know if if she can comment again. Uh, Jackie Van Veek, uh, just comment for me again on your. If you can, Jackie, I just want to see if you are on. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to go to the next person. La broska atelevena moska taya. Mas ikin aikana moska drebele baya. Lekaya lodoska. And I know the comments are very delayed. I know the comments are delayed. So, so that's why people might take a while to respond. That's why people might take a while to respond. Uh, let me see let me see let me see let me just let me just do one or two more i'm just waiting for that one person to come on uh, uh jackie i think it was jackie van veik or somebody like that um jackie i saw something very yeah i saw something very a, a vision striking me immediately when i looked at your name uh, otherwise i'm gonna go to let me see let me see let me see I'm also trying to look at people that I don't know, you know, so <laughs> that's that's very important because there's so many people we know and we've prophesied over them and they keep saying prophesy and I'm not going to prophesy over them because they need a, don't need a prophecy. They need a prophet. They got a prophet. So, you know, um, there's other people that needs prophecy. So uh, 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 I don't see Jackie van Veek coming on. Maybe she was just on, on, on and off. Wendy Scholl, Cindy Lynn. Uh, good to see you, Cindy Lynn. Naomi, Ruth, Mo, the presence of God is here. The presence of God is here. The glory of God is here. Uh, Yvonne Veloza, pray for my health. Yvonne Veloza, Yvonne Veloza. I'm going to hold on to you, Yvonne. I'm going to hold on to you. Just hold on. I'm going to get maybe to you right now. Yvonne Veloza, Yvonne Veloza. Because there's, you think health is your problem. There's another problem also, Yvonne. Veloza, Yvonne Veloza. Lebroska adenoska tekena ma endoska tekele baya. Mesa katakana maskote endrebeste esketaya. Lebradoska te. Cheryl A. Riker. She's a dear friend. I'm not going to say anything else. But I, I think, I believe you should pray for Cheryl A. Riker on my is page. She, is she on your page? Yes, yes. Okay, where where where, where can scroll I find a little it? little bit. Okay, I'm scrolling up. Um, I'm scrolling Cheryl up. A. Riker with a C H E R Y L. Yeah, let me look. I'm looking for her. Cheryl, otherwise, just comment for us again. Uh, but I am looking for you. My goodness. Okay, I'm seeing something for her already, Cheryl. Okay, I can see you on your... Just comment for me something, Cheryl, so that I can just see you. Well, guys, send me a screenshot if you can. Uh, my guys, send a screenshot if you can, Cheryl A. Raker, um, on, on, on WhatsApp. But um, And listen, don't worry, God is not in a rush. God is not in a rush. Um, God is not going to leave the party if we are silent.
for a few seconds. Okay, um, I know sometimes we have this pressure, you know, like uh, let's let's move, 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 move. No, no, no. God is still fine. God is on His throne, and uh, I um, I want to wait for Cheryl. Do you see her? She's commenting now. And okay, great. Then she should come on. You know what? I also realize sometimes it shows something on your side and not my side, and vice versa. And um, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, Are you seeing? Do you see her name on my page, Prophet? No, I don't. Eh? But it's fine. I'm going to prophesy anyway. Um, am I on your page? Yeah, I am on your page. Um, Maybe one of my guys could WhatsApp me the image, please. Thank you so much. Uh, Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl Raker, hey? Yes. Let's go to Kimbradoska, to Kedela Bradoska, to Kinamam Bradoska Taya. Is one of my if one of my guys sees it, if they can WhatsApp me the image, they'll really appreciate it. I really appreciate that. Le Roska Breda Lebena Mashka de Le Kedrebena. Cheryl, I have something for you. I already saw something. I just want to get a clearer word for you. And um, I just want to get a clearer word for you. Thank you so much. Oh, my guys say they're also not seeing her. Um, maybe it is some blocking thing or something like that. Um, Cheryl, the first thing I looked and I saw, now, again, it's it's very difficult. It's very dangerous for me to prophesy. Um, other people also not seeing her. Um, uh, so the um, the first thing that I see upon your life. Just ask me this one question. Just answer me. Wait, wait, wait. Just answer me this one question. Uh, Ben, Dr. Ben, is she married? Yes. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. The Lord is going to do something very great in your marriage. But I'll tell you this. When, I, when I'm seeing you in the realm of the Spirit, it's very difficult for me to, to now um, uh, to do this thing. But when I see you, I see something with real estate behind you. I see something with real estate that the Lord is going to open up real estate. I looked and I saw prosperity and finances coming into your hands that has been held up for very long. And the Lord is saying, I will give you wisdom on what to do. I will give you wisdom on how to handle it. But finances is coming into your hands. Finances is coming into your hands. And, um, Finances is coming into your hands. It's like almost like the Lord is thank you. It's almost like the Lord is going to bless you with an amount of finances that is going to cause you to do a project and to do something for the Lord that is going to bring great advancement to his kingdom and is going to entrust you with finances. However, this is going to come through. But when we look and the clock ticks 24 months, the Lord is saying the hour has come. I don't know if you have a son or not. I don't know if you have a son or not. Sorry? Yes, she does, yes. She does have a son. So because I'm seeing the son and I see that there must be clearly prayers be going up for him. Prayers going up for your son because the, the Lord's hand is upon him. Strange things are going to happen. And strange things the enemy want to bring to pass also. But it shall not come to pass, says the Spirit of God. Your son shall not be taken. Your son shall not disappear. And your son shall not go wayward. Even though it looks at times like this. The Lord is saying, my hand of deliverance is upon him. My word is in him. My praise is upon him. And I'm watching my word to fulfill it, says the Spirit of the Lord. For the Lord is saying, I shall use you. I shall use you in areas. When I said real estate, it's like the finances that's coming in. I saw properties that is going to be blessed, that you're going to be blessed with. But a project is going to be given to you. Or finances is going to fund a project that the Lord is going to open up for you. For the Lord is saying, I've given you a clear cut eye to see things deeper. 
and to see things further because there's a prophetic anointing upon your life and there's a prophetic eye upon you. For specifically the eye of an eagle, the eye of a seer, a seer says the Spirit of God. Specifically the eye of a seer says the Spirit of God. And, uh, and your son, pray, pray, pray for your son. I see an angel standing behind him. I see him like a Joshua that is going to take the promised land, says the Spirit of God. Because like a Joshua with the sword in his hand, he is going to, uh, with the sword in his hand, he is going to, um, he is going to take the promise that the enemy has tried to take. He's going to take the land that the enemy has tried to take, says the Spirit of God. But what is going to, transpired is that there's going to be a moment where it feels like the enemy has taken him. But the Lord is saying, I have him and I have him in my hand because there's a mantle of evangelism upon his life. For the, I see a prophetic, I see evangelism, I see these things upon him where he's going to evangelize with a prophetic anointing, but he will have a witness and there'll be power and there'll be signs, wonders and miracles that will come upon him, says the spirit of God. For the Lord is saying, you just see what I will do with his life. Just see what I will do with his life and uh, just see how I'll raise him up because does she have more than one son? She has two sons. Two. Two sons. Because I see another one that will have an entrepreneurial spirit that is going to go so high up. The hand of the Lord is going to be upon one, upon this one that is going to be financially going to go so high up, says the Spirit of God. Going to yeah. go so high up that, that, um, that it, in an entrepreneurial way, I'm going to take him to the top and he's going to be in the marketplace. He's going to have a business mind, a legal mind, says the Spirit of the Lord. For the Lord is saying, my hand is upon you and my hand is upon your family. But see how I will even bring greater restoration in your marriage. The enemy had a plan, but that plan is failing, says the Spirit of God. My, my God, my God. My God is saying, everybody just lift up your hands right now. The power. And the glory of the Lord is so strong and thick right now. There's such a hunger here, Prophet. I, you know, I wish we could do this more, and and I think we will, right, Prophet? I mean, people are just commenting more, and people of God, I want you, anybody who's following me, listen, Prophet Leon is the real deal, okay? Uh, he, to me, he represents the new breed of prophets from Africa, right? And we understand that Africans are very powerful but sometimes there's a lot of mixture and whatnot but prophet leon really represents the new breed of prophets from africa and so i love this man of god i'm so blessed and honored to call him a good and dear friend of mine but i want all of you to just begin to follow him and just you know support his ministry because god is using him tremendously and uh even um of course subscribe to his youtube Give his Instagram a like, his TikTok, and even for myself, our social media platforms. Please follow us. Please follow me and connect with us more. And me and Prophet Leon, we're, we're probably going to come back and do this again in the next few weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Prophet, prophetic conversion. Yes, definitely. And, and, you know, hopefully we'll have, we're, we're going to be bringing on different prophets. Let me tell you, uh, my goodness, I mean, Prophet Leon just totally read my mail this morning as we were talking. And, you know, he was sharing that. Listen, we need to start this prophetic convergence of emerging prophet. And this is one of the things you and I, we first talked about when we first met in South Africa. And uh, it's happening, man of God. So get ready, people of God, because more of this is going to happen. And there's going to be more of a convergence, a round table, uh, convergence of different young emerging prophetic voices that really carry the mantle and the authority and the weight. So it's going to happen even more and more and more. Prophet Leon, any last words, my friend? I know time is running by, but any last words that you just want to say or share, just even as we close you out, man of God, talk to us. Nothing, nothing from me but to say thank you so much for being a friend. Thank you so much for standing strong in the nation of the United States. Um, uh, thank you for being in unity with so many young people that you are, young prophets that you are with in unity.
to with you know from australia we were talking about nate we were talking about other young prophets in the united states we were talking yeah that you guys are on unity it's a very very good thing south africa needs that and south africa can learn a lesson out of that and um we are about to do one of me and one of my friends on this side is about to do it on this side as well but we um you know i believe this convergence and what we have been talking about and etc is going to set an example so i want to say thank you to you thank you for letting me be on tonight it was great. I see people are hungry. I see people enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much to everybody that is on people saying amen time for the prophets to arise. Amen. Then this is actually the decade of the prophets. It's the decade of the mouth, the decade of the mouth. It's the decade of prophets. So you will see many prophets. Many people said it's, it, you know, the prophets are going to die this decade. No, no, no. The prophets are going to rise this decade and uh, the prophets are going to bring in um, uh, sound and usher in the, the spirit of Elijah is there to usher in Jesus Christ. And that is another topic for another day. But thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much. I really honor you. I really appreciate you. And uh, you're a great blessing in the body of Christ. Thank you, Prophet. We love you. Everybody, Prophet Leon De Prua, uh, Du Prua. That, how, how do I say your name? De Prue. De Prue. Yes. Prophet Leon Dupree, all the way from South Africa. Let's give the man of God a wonderful clap and just give us some hearts and lights. And again, we honor you, Prophet. We love you. And uh, we can't. We're going to do this again in the next few weeks anyway. So who's excited for that? If you are excited for the next prophetic convergence. I will I prophesy more. Yes. Well, yeah, we got to prophesy more. Absolutely. And uh, and we're going to we're going to bring in some other prophet. It's going to be so exciting. So everybody stay tuned. Let's give the man of God, Prophet Leon. A big clap as he exits our broadcast. Amen. God bless Thank you so much. God bless you. Wow, wow, wow. People of God, I hope you were blessed by this. Amen. Something powerful happens when there's a convergence of apostles, prophets, the next generation, the new. And we're going to see this more and more. And let me tell you, this is my heart. This is Prophet Leon's heart. Literally, I mean, there was a unison in the spirit. There was uh, such a... Uh, you know, I mean, we were speaking the same language when we first connected to South Africa. And it's not okay for prophets to roam and wander alone and be vagabonds. We need to be connected with those that are part of the new thing. So it's amen. Well, people of God, I'm so glad you're here today. Did you receive today? Were you blessed today? Amen. People of God, I want to make some quick announcements in this moment. Tomorrow, uh, which is August 16th, I am doing... Another Facebook Live with Dr. Robert Laird. Uh, he's the author of God's Generals, a uh, best-selling book. And uh, we're going to talk about supernatural prosperity. Uh, he truly is a general of the faith, and I'm honored to call him a friend and a man of my life. And so glad that the Lord has connected us. Amen. And so tomorrow, we're going to be doing a Facebook Live broadcast myself and Dr. Robert Laird the author of God's Generals, and we're going to talk about supernatural prosperity. How do you move in the realm of biblical prosperity in these days of shaking and testing and for the days to come? Amen. So that's going to be 10 a.m. PST. Uh, not sure what time it is going to be in South Africa. I think it's going to be 7 p.m. South Africa. Uh, but go ahead and join us wherever you're watching from. Amen. Uh, also, I have some webinars coming up, and all of our webinars now are free. Okay. So I want you to join us. Our next upcoming webinar is called Heavenly Destiny Scrolls on August 29th. Okay, I'm going to talk about the scribe angels and the scribe anointing. We're going to talk about the book of life and how to co-partner or co-author with the Lord and how to write good things in your destiny scroll. Who here knows that there are destiny scrolls over regions, over families, and over individuals. And I believe in the spirit realm in this season. As we're about to go to Yom Kippur, as we're about to go into the Day of Atonement, you and I, we can rewrite things in the spirit, and we can also blot out things in the spirit. So I want to talk to you about Heavenly Destiny Scrolls. So go ahead and register at my website, benlimglobal.com. Our next uh, webinar after that, we're going to talk about terminating spying spirits, okay? Have you ever felt followed? Have you ever felt watched? Have you ever felt unsafe or fearful because you feel like there is a spirit or an object that is following you around? In this free webinar, 
terminate terminate spying spirits. We're going to talk about what are monitoring spirits and how do you cut off the line? How do you destroy the connection, the line of these monitoring spirits? So I want you to join us for that. Uh, it's going to be a free webinar. And again, it's going to be September 12th, 7 p.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time. Amen. Our next announcement, as we keep moving forward, next week, I'm going to be in Florida with my good friends, the Twin Prophets, Dr. Hakeem and Naeem Collins, and also uh, with Steve Swanson, worship leader extraordinaire. If you're in the Florida, Florida area, I want you to join in, jump in. You look like you need a vacation. Come and be with us in Florida. Next, I'm also going to be in Colorado in the month of October. It's my first time ministering in Colorado. So I want to I want to see you there. I would love to see you there. If you're in the Colorado State region area, my goodness, God is going to move so powerfully. Amen. And uh, I believe last but not least, I do have a group mentorship called 7M Glory Equipped. Okay. I would love to mentor you. Oh, I would love to mentor you in the prophetic. I would love to mentor you in the things of God. And if you uh, want to be connected to a private community, to a private group, and grow together in the things of the Lord, I would love to mentor you. I would love to walk with you. This 7M Glory Equip, I'm telling you, these the people involved, the students involved are so incredible. And I would love for you to be a part of our family. Let me tell you, you need a prophet, a man, a woman of God to go higher and go to the next level. And I will be honored to be able to mentor you, pour into you. We have at least two private Zooms a month. And uh, again, there's a private community and group with many resources for you to grow in the glory of God. So I would love to see you there. People of God, I'm so glad you joined. Were you blessed today? I want to say I love you. I want to say God bless you. And I hope you heard the word of the Lord today. And even as myself and Prophet Leon Dupree, even as we release the word of the Lord, we need to pray. There's going to be many shakings and shifts, even in the next two to four months, up to the end of this year, 2022. But I want to declare and decree over your life that the second half of this year will be greater than the first half. The second half, the, the glory of the latter part of 2022 will be greater than the glory of the former. Amen. So lift up your hands, Lord. Bless your people. Even as we exit and finish this broadcast today, I thank you for the ministering spirits of God to accompany them, for the fire of God to be around it. And I thank you that you will not lack in the presence of the Lord Jesus. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. And today I had a great honor of hosting our good friend, Prophet Leanne Dupree, all the way from South Africa on prophetic convergence. I can't wait to see you soon. Make sure you give my page, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, our social media pages a follow a like subscribe and i cannot wait to see you very soon god bless you and shalom